Evening, gentlemen. Uh, what we're going to do is a real quick summary or preview for uh, the session that we have uh, tomorrow night, so or today, depending on when you're looking at this. So again, Tuesday session, February 1st, 2022. Session objectives. Uh, two is a big focus point here. Um, improve our attacking organization in the buildup phase and some subcategories or some focal points, concepts that we're working on as our optimal team shape and then provoking pressure to advance the free player or extra player. Um, the counter principle or counter objective to this is we're going to improve our team's response and transition to defense in the build phase. So uh, being good in transition during the build is vital to our success. So uh, for those who watched the U.S. men's national team game on the, the goal kick, uh, being good in that transition moment could have helped them a little bit more. So sub-concepts to that is traveling together as a group to reduce space. We step forward on the loss of uh, possession so that we're able to press immediately when we can. And then if not, we get back behind the ball quickly and create that tight team with no space or penetration. So focus is on the build phase. Uh, just a reminder, this is what we're looking at for the area of the field. So we use the area of the field as a reference, but really... The build phase can start higher up the field. It all depends on where we first interact with the opposition. So, but still giving us a reference on the field. So exercise one, uh, it's an exercise we've done before, the double rondo, again, focused on the build up phase. Uh, our gray here are looking to build the game into the, the far side target. Um, our blacks in defense are looking to win the ball and dribble out the end line of the end that they're defending. So in this case, black wins the ball. They dribble out past uh, where the five is to score a point. Uh, gray score by getting the ball the other end, rotate defenders, rotate jobs. We will progress to adding a third defender in the far grid, and that will add in our quality of penetration and how we progress. Exercise two, 6v6 game, uh, 6v6 four goal game where we're in three zones. Uh, again, that concept of the build phase, advancing the free player. So. Uh, grays are moving left to right. They start with a 2v1. How do they take that extra player? Create a 4v3 in the next grid. And then finally, we finish with even numbers in the final zone. Uh, we will adapt and press with different numbers. So everyone in this image is playing in a 2-3-1 shape. We will have time in a 2-2-2 shape. So we've got to figure out what to do when numbers are even in that first phase or that first zone. Um, but again, we'll work on this, give you guys a chance to play right away. And then finally, we'll get it from there. We'll go right into 11s. Uh, and this is where we kind of spend more time with the full team, so optimal shape. Um, good reference here is we use this idea of we want to pin the opposition back line. We want to push their width back with aggressive outside backs or wingers, depending on our shape. And then our central core is going to be used to provoke, it, to pull the opposition apart and create space and gaps for us to progress with that extra player to start with. So, so like I said, guys, Quick little preview of what the session is. Obviously, we'll spend more time in depth, but wanted to get you guys ready for what was ahead of you.